Good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, shalom, aloha, salam alaikum, and grand rising and grand rising, and we are rising to the top. We will forever and ever rise up to the top. Family, um, I don't recall, but I know I made a video. If it wasn't two weeks ago, it was a week ago. And I was trying to tell you that there's a purpose of us and that all our fingers ain't the same. Just because you can't give birth doesn't mean that you cannot adapt. That was a video on miscarriage. That doesn't mean you cannot adapt. There are plenty of children that need parents. There are plenty of animals that need, that need care, right? So this video that you're about to watch is basically the video will talk about everything that you need to know. My little two cents is if you don't have children of your own and you, know, you don't want to adopt any children, but you are into animals please don't let society put pressure on you only you know you no matter what only you know you go ahead and adopt sometimes some of these animals that we have in our homes which personally i consider them to be family if you have a dog a cat a parrot a fish i love fishes so, you know, one day I'm going to get me a fish tank, like an aquarium. I, I, Hey, by the way, if you're watching me and you a man and you want to get to know me and you want to take me on a date, please take me to somewhere that I can see a fish tank. I love fishes. I do. I love, yes, I love fish. I went to SeaWorld and, you know, they have this um, underground, like, aquarium. You walk and you see the aquarium. You see the fishes. Oh, Lord, I wanted to sleep there. I want I want a bedroom with fish like that. <laughs> you know, the ceiling is like I'm sleeping inside a fish tank. Yes, I like fishes. I like parrots too. Yeah. But anyway, um, sometimes your loved ones will come in. That's reincarnation. Well, you don't have to believe that, but even Jesus Christ reincarnated. That's why when he died and he woke up three days and people were like, oh, he, he came back. Yes, that's it's called reincarnation. But anyway, sometimes our deceased loved ones come through as pets as animals and the way they love us the ordinary person don't understand that is because they are part of your soul tribe okay or let me say the people in your soul family that animal is part of it remember we are all spirit it's just the avatar that is different the space suit that is different you about to watch this lady how her dog saved her life this is to encourage you that if you thinking about adopting a, a, a pet, an animal, go ahead. There's a reason why God is pushing you to do that. That dog, that cat, that whatever, it will save your life someday. Okay? I just want everybody to live their life and be happy. The only way we can change the frequency on, on this planet is people being who they are and being a good person. It's in you. It's in you. So take time and watch this video. I know it's going to make a lot of you families out there your day because it made my day. Thank you. Give yourself a hug. A kiss on yourself. African kisses. Uno. Amor. That's one love. <laughs> oh, I has a medical condition and her dog is trained to be able to sense when she's in trouble and in this moment her dog was trying to tell her that her heart rate was getting to a dangerous level trying to get her to sit down and once she did he went to comfort her but then he went into work mode knowing what she needs so first he grabbed her phone in case she needs to make an emergency call and then went to grab her medicine but unfortunately he couldn't reach it but knowing this may be an emergency that didn't stop him so he jumped on the table to grab it and brought it to her to take he then started looking around the room trying to figure out if there's anything else she may need. He then opens up the fridge, grabs a water bottle, and then brings it to her as well so she can take her pill. An incredibly intelligent dog that knows how to save the life of his owner. This girl...